We did our first laser ablation for a brain tumor at Mount Sinai Hospital today. My name is Konstantinos Hadjapanias. I'm a professor of neurosurgery at Mount Sinai. I'm also the director of neurosurgery oncology for the Mount Sinai Health System and site chair for Beth Israel Hospital. Yeah, we're okay. We're able to do this under MRI guidance uh, in a minimally invasive fashion with a patient uh, who was treated uh, in several hours. We used a device that allows us to, to ablate or heat up the tumor that had grown back after several therapies. The laser catheter has a sapphire tip that we place in the area that's targeted with our stereotactic guidance and by real-time MRI localization we can determine exactly where that tip is in the tumor that we're treating. As we're heating the tumor and ablating it, the MRI scan can actually detect temperature difference within the tumor and surrounding brain so know exactly what was ablated, which means killing. We kill the tumor with heat. This is just purely a, a, a several millimeter opening in the scalp, a several millimeter opening in the skull, and then we insert basically a three millimeter catheter down the track to where the tumor is for the ablation. So it's, we're talking about millimeters, and we're talking about a shorter hospital stay. We're talking about less side effects from doing surgery, less risk for infection. We think that this technology is going to allow us to institute other therapies that can help patients that we couldn't before. And then there's a whole another field my colleagues are also working on is epilepsy, where we can actually go in and ablate z zones in the brain that produce seizures, and we can help patients be seizure free. A standard craniotomy, uh, patients usually have to wait about three to four weeks to let things heal up before we can move on to other types of treatments. With the laser interstitial thermal therapy, LITT, we believe that we can get them onto their therapy within days after the treatment. So we're hoping this patient can get his chemotherapy regimen next week. And we're hoping that he'll, he'll leave the hospital in a day or so.